Okay, geometry students, in this video we will be studying another segment that lies within a triangle called a mid-segment. Okay? We will also learn a theorem about the mid-segment of a triangle. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy your heading down for today. Mid-segment theorem is what we're going to look at today. Mid-segment theorem, the lesson number is 5.3, so be sure and copy that in your notes and include today's date. Okay? So, we have looked at um, four other segments that lie within a triangle and today we're going to look at a fifth segment that lies within a triangle and it's called a mid-segment so you're heading today's mid-segment theorem lesson 5.3 and be sure and include today's date okay students and here we go now don't write this down okay but let's quickly review the four triangle segments we have already learned. Okay? So don't write this down, just listen. The other day we learned definitions of and visual illustrations of segment bisector of a triangle. And that's wrong, isn't it? <laughs> way to start way to start class off with a bang there. Um perpendicular bisector of a triangle. Sorry about that angle bisector of a triangle, altitude of a triangle, and median of a triangle. Okay, So those are the four segments that we've already learned a lot about that lie inside a triangle, although an altitude sometimes can lie on the triangle and also sometimes outside the triangle. Okay, So let's add our fifth segment now, which is called a mid-segment. Okay? So now we're going to learn five segments that deal with triangles, okay? And this fifth one is called a mid-segment. And here's the definition. Okay? Here's the definition. Copy this down, please. You are responsible for this. Like always. So copy that down. A mid-segment is a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. A mid-segment is a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. Okay? Copy that down, please. <clears throat> Mid segment, a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. Now, here's what it looks like. So please take some really good notes on this, students. Okay? Watch carefully. Here's a triangle. Go ahead and draw a triangle in your notes. Now, a mid-segment is simply this. Find the midpoint of this side. Kind of estimate it. Find the midpoint of this side. And find the midpoint of this side. Now, if I draw this segment here, that's a mid-segment. Isn't that easy? It connects two midpoints of two sides. If I draw this segment here, that's a mid-segment. So easy. It connects two midpoints from two sides. If I were to draw this segment here, that would be a mid-segment because it connects two midpoints from two sides of the triangle. It's that simple, guys, okay? So that's what a mid-segment is. And you're probably thinking, well, Mr. Earhart, it's never that simple. You're going to throw a couple of things at us here. And you're right, I am. But still, the idea of a mid-segment is pretty simple, okay? A mid-segment is a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, okay? Okay, continuing on. Now, here is the theorem that we're going to learn today that deals with the mid-segment of a triangle. Here it is. Copy this down, please. Theorem 5.6. A mid-segment of a triangle, this is so cool, guys, is parallel to the third side always and is half its length. Okay, the mid-segment of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is half its length. That is so cool. Okay? Give you one more second to copy that down. The mid segment of a triangle is parallel to the third side, and the mid segment is half of the length of the third side. So 
So let me show you what this means, okay? Go ahead and copy this in your notes, please. Copy this triangle down. Let's call this triangle A, B, C, okay? Let's put a point here in the middle. Put a point here in the middle, right over here. And draw this line right here, okay? And let's call that D and E. There we go. Now, please watch this carefully. This is so important, students. Go ahead and put a slash here and a slash here. Because, guys, if D is truly the midpoint of AB, then that means the segment here is congruent to the segment here, right? Of course. And go ahead and put two marks here and two marks here. Because, students, if E is truly the midpoint of AC, that means E is right in the middle of AC. And if E is in the middle of AC, then this segment here has to be congruent to this segment here. So here's what we know. Please watch this, guys. If, copy this down, please. If DE is a what? <clears throat> mid-segment, then what do we know? Well, we know, we know that DE is what? Parallel to what? BC. That's what the theorem says, guys. If uh, the mid-segment of a triangle is parallel to the third side, so we know D, DE here is parallel to BC, we also know that the measure of I'm not going to put measure, I'm going to put DE equals one half of BC. That's what the theorem says. Or you could put two DE equals BC. Either one of those are true. Okay? You can take the longer side BC and cut it in half, and that equals DE. Or you can take the shorter side DE, multiply it by 2, and get the longer side BC. Are you seeing this okay? So if this is a mid segment here, then I can state all of this. Now I want to really uh, stretch your minds a little bit here and make you guys think. What if I said this? Take some really good notes on this, okay? What if I said to you guys, if, now watch this carefully, AD is congruent to DB, and watch this, guys, and AE is congruent to EC, okay? If I stated that, isn't that the exact same thing as saying DE is a mid-segment? Sure it is. So for your if part, you could either say if DE is a what? Mid-segment. You could say that's fine. No problem with that. Or you could say if AD is congruent to DB and AE is congruent to EC, then all of this here has to be true. Okay? So think about that, but it's really true. When you're working math problems later on in your homework tonight, look for situations, or, or later on whenever, look for situations where you have a side here and a side here congruent, and a side here and a side here congruent. That tells you right away that this here has to be a mid-segment, okay? So one more time, and I'm going to move on. If we have a mid-segment, then I know a couple things. I know, I know this side here is parallel to the side here and I also know that I can take this this side here and multiply it by 2 and that will give me the same length as this as this side here or I could take this side here and multiply it by 1 half or I guess you could also say divide it by 2 same thing and it will give you the same length as this right here Okay? All right, now let's continue on. Let's apply this theorem to a problem. Now, I want to warn you, 
this is the last thing we're going to do in the video. It's not a very long video today, but this problem is really, really, really difficult. So really get your um, thinking caps on and really be ready to think. Okay, this is a very difficult problem. I'm going to try to help you understand it, but it's really difficult to do, okay? So here we go. Go ahead and copy this down. Go ahead and draw a coordinate plane like this, and go ahead and copy this problem down. I'm giving you the midpoints of the sides of a triangle. And I want you to find the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle, okay? So I'm giving you the midpoints of the sides of a triangle, and I want you to find the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle. Okay, so here we go. Go ahead and copy this down here and draw a coordinate plane. Give you guys just a minute to do that. Okay, students, here we go. Now, first thing you should do, let's go ahead and get these midpoints here on your coordinate plane. So, 4, 2 goes here, 2, 3 goes here, and 5, 4 goes here. There we go. Okay? Now, these are not the vertices of the triangle like this. They're not the vertices, okay? They're the midpoints. Let me show you what I mean over here. In your notes, go ahead and draw a triangle that looks like this. Kind of like this. Okay, just draw a triangle like that. And then I'm going to turn it just a little. Just a little like this. Here we go. Now, with your pen and your notes, go ahead and put a point here, the midpoint. Put a point here. And put a point here. <clears throat> Now, take that triangle and you, you can't do this, but I'm going to take my triangle and pull it away. <clears throat> See those three points here, guys? That's what these three points are over here. Does that help a little bit? These three points here are the midpoints on the sides of a triangle. So, if I drew the triangle over here, it would look something like this. Something like this, okay? Now, here's what we're going to do. Watch this carefully, guys. We're going to go ahead and do this. See this mid-segment here, right here? See this mid-segment here? Well, that's the same mid-segment as over here, approximately. Okay? See that? Now, what do you notice about this side here? It's parallel to it, right? So, I know then that I have a side over here, a triangle side that's parallel to this side here. It's going to go like this. Okay, so here's what I do. Remember, parallel lines have the same slope. Let me say that again. Parallel lines have the same slope. So what's the slope of this line right here? Well, I go up how many? One. And I go over how many? One, two, three. So the slope of this line right here is go up one and go over three. Or you could say go down one and go over three. So from this point here, I'm going to go up one and over three. Up one, over three. So there's a point. I'm going to go down one and over three. And then down one and over three. There we go. So now I have a pretty good idea of the third side of my triangle. I'm not sure how long to draw it. So I'm just going to draw it extra long, okay? There. Guys, that's a huge help. Now let's come back over here. <clears throat> and let's draw another mid-segment. See this mid-segment here, right here? See that? Well, that's the same as this mid-segment over here, right here, correct? Sure it is. Right there. Now, what do you notice about this mid-segment here and this side here? They're parallel, correct? So I know another side of the triangle I'm going to draw would be a parallel line going through this point here. So what is the slope of this line here? Well, let's say I go up 2, 1, 2, and go over 1. Or you can say I go over 1 and up 2. So from this point here, I'm going to go over 1, up 2, 
over 1 up 2. I told you that's a pretty hard problem, okay? I'm going to go down 2 over 1. Hey, look, I just hit a, I just hit a point right here. Down 2 over 1. I just hit a point on this side here. So now I know where two sides intersect. Okay, pretty cool. As is all math. Really cool. So look at that. There, I just found one of my vertices. Right there is one point of my triangle. Now, I have one more mid-segment to draw, okay? Here it is, right here. Okay, well that mid-segment there is approximately the same mid-segment I have here. Now, what do we notice about this line here and this line over here? They're parallel, right? So, if I have a mid-segment here, then I know I have a parallel line over here. A line parallel to this line. Now, remember, parallel lines have the same slope. So what's the slope of this line here? Well, I go down 1 and over 2. So from this point here, I'm going to go down 1 and over 2. Look at it's right here. Cool. Now I'm going to go up 1 and over 2. Hey, it's right here. Cool. So, now if you're thinking, Mr. Earhart, all the problems wouldn't work out this, you know, this nice and easy. You're right, they wouldn't. But this is still a really good thinking problem that helps you see how mid-segments are parallel to all the lines of the triangle, okay, or all this, the third side of the triangle. So here's this side here. So here's my triangle. I'm going to highlight it in green for you, okay? Because I'm just so creative. All right, there it is. So what's the, what's the vertex of that point there? Well... I'm over 1, 2, 3, and I'm up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 3, 5. There's one vertex. Okay, now, I'm at this point here. Well, I'm over 1, I'm up 1. So this ordered pair right here would be 1, 1. So there's my other vertex right here. Now, how about this vertex right here? Well, let's see, I'm over 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up 3, 1, 2, 3. So this ordered pair right here would be... 7, 3. There we go. So we found the three vertices of the triangle just by simply knowing what the uh, midpoints of each side were. So it's really, really, really cool, okay? Okay, guys, let's, let's review very quickly uh, before we're done with our, vi our video for today, okay? Okay, first of all, remember we've learned four segments within a triangle, okay? And today we learned our fifth. Okay, you need to know the, the definition of a, a mid-segment. And here it is, a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, okay? So you need to know that definition and know what it looks like, okay? And then you need to know this theorem. Whenever you have a mid-segment of a triangle, it will always be parallel to the third side and that mid-segment will be half the length of the third side. Okay, you need to know that. And that's basically it, okay? Guys, um, hope this has been understandable. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call or email.